A Yali fellow from Cape Verde is at home in the air. With the years of experience flying planes, he is committed to the field of aviation. But after a few close calls, his life goal now is to make the skies of Africa safer for pilots. During his summer at Arizona State University, he has focused on public policy with an eye on influencing politicians back home. You can compare Arizona to Cape Verde in many, in many aspects. Uh, in, ter in terms of landscape, some landscapes just really remind me of Cabo Verde. Uh, the mountains, the, the dry, the desert-like aspect of Arizona. We don't have cactuses in Cabo Verde. So my name is Rui Alexandre de Figueiredo Soares. I am a Mandela Fellow at ASU in Arizona State University on a public management track. Aviation in Africa is relatively less safe than other parts in the world. Currently, 3.2 billion people travel by plane every year and only 3% of these 3.2 billion people travel using African Airlines. African Airlines are responsible for almost 50% of all accidents in the world. Being an African pilot, it really disappoints me and I have to do something about it. I really feel that I have to do something about it and I believe that the solutions to the problems in aviation in the African continent are within our reach and they are easier and closer than we might be thinking they are. And I have decided to dedicate my work towards reaching that goal, improving aviation safety in Africa. So the Yellow Fellowship is a great opportunity for me to be, uh, to be here with other young African leaders to learn that experience and to try to create synergies into finding solutions for our common problems in, in our respective countries. We did a lot of very interesting things with the fellow. We went to this museum last time and it was very interesting because we got to learn a lot about the Western and the Cowboys, Indians and the great expeditions of Lewis and Clark. It was very interesting. We also got to see artifacts and historical paintings. Project Cure has really been interesting and see how American people are engaged in supporting least developed countries in terms of medical supplies and the, the logistics that I have put together to make sure that the medical supplies reaches the most remote areas of not only the African continent but all parts of the world where medical supplies needed. It's, it's definitely inspirational and motivational and to see how many volunteers come here and work with them it's, it's something that is, uh, for us, mind-blowing to see the engagement of the community in these kind of projects. Growing up, I always dreamed about flying and being a pilot. Today, I don't fly anymore. Today, I am a policymaker. I am a public servant of the aviation sector. And this is a passion that flew into me as I was living my dream and flying. The simple fact of being with other fellows and drinking from their passion to cause positive impact in the African continent. And that's definitely giving me an extra incentive to go back to my country and continue to work in improving aviation safety in the continent.